Good morning, Young Women's Leadership Academy. This is Miss Burns, your principal, bringing you announcements on Friday, April the 21st. Everybody, today is a B day. So after advisory, please be sure you go to your fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth period classes. All right, students, I told you yesterday, I'm going to say it again. Tuesday, we take our middle school reading star test and high school, you take your English 1 EOC. And then Wednesday, high school is our English 2 EOC. But students, yesterday, we talked about a few things you can do during the test to help you be successful. So we talked about giving 100% no matter what. We talked about taking a deep breath when you feel a little bit stressed during the test. We talked about reading everything, read the instructions, read the passages, read the questions, read everything. And then we also talked about asking for supplies because your teachers can give you things like scratch paper, pencil, highlighter, those science and math reference sheets, but you got to ask for it. So make sure to do all of those things. Students, today, let's talk about a couple more tips during the STAR tests. So I know that your teachers have told you tons of different strategies, things you can remember to make it easier to think about whatever it is you're reading, whatever you're doing. So remember the strategies your teachers have taught you. Think back to the things you learned in class, write it on your scratch paper. That's the thing, students, the scratch paper that you have, it doesn't just have to be for math. It can be for, and we're gonna talk about it in a second, it can be for a brain dump. So do a brain dump on the scratch paper. What's a brain dump, you might ask? Well, that's where you take everything you remember from the strategies, from your classes, and without using notes, without looking at anybody else's paper, you just write everything down on that scratch paper. Now, remember, you are in test mode, so you can't do anything but use what's in your brain, but do this from memory, no help from other people, no help from notes. You can draw charts, graphs, tables from memory on your scratch paper after the test starts. You can do formulas. You can do hints to help you remember things on your scratch paper. And guess what? For the reading and for the English 1 and 2 EOC, write your rough drafts for your short and extended constructed responses on that scratch paper. Put everything in your brain on that scratch paper then take that and use that to answer the questions on the test. Trust me, especially for the rough draft, students, you have time, so don't feel rushed. Another thing you can be sure to do, students, use the tools embedded in the online test. So we've transitioned to online test, whether it is our quarterly exams or our state exams, and there are tools embedded in the test. If you just tap the button, if you just tap the icon, you have access to things. So when you need it, use the embedded dictionary, use the embedded highlighter, use the part that helps you mark out the answer choices you think are wrong. There are things in the test you can use. You can also drag and drop questions and make sure students remember when you're doing the drag and drop, a lot of times there's gonna be more than one answer. So be sure to choose all that apply. The last thing I wanna remind you during the test students, don't be scared of new question types. Those of you that have been taking STAR tests for a long time, you might see some new question types and that's okay. You're gonna see some drag and drop. You're gonna see somewhere it says, based on your previous answer, why did you choose that? You're gonna see somewhere you can choose more than one choice with the check boxes. That's okay, students. You've practiced these things in class. Now it's time to do it on the test. Just make sure to do your best if you see a question type that you've never seen before because students remember, You've got this. You have spent the entire year getting ready to show what you know. And next week, students, is your first opportunity to show what you know. So that's today's STAR and EOC tips. That's all I have for you for the reminders today, students. So I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you in the hallways. Music